Warning, the following video will contain spoilers for Under the Tavern, Level 1, a system neutral adventure by the Dungeon Master G, available at the website thedmg.info forward slash store for a mere 99 cents. You have been warned. Continue. I cannot help but throw a punch. Howdy tubers, I'm going to tackle Under the Tavern. And I'm going to use it to exercise an idea I've wanted to try for a while, the Mega Tile, uh, where each floor of the dungeon is its own tile. And I figured what better dungeon than Under the Tavern by the DMG. So to get this accomplished, I got, of course, the cheap Dollar Tree foam core, three sheets. I'm going to glue two of those sheets together. This tile's so big, I can't keep it on camera. But see, there it is, two ply. I'm going to put a bunch of weight on there and let that sit overnight or longer. All right. Then, on the two ply, you want to sketch out the dungeon. I've been wanting to try this for a while, and uh, this is a great little adventure. It's open system, or system neutral, rather. Uh, but it doesn't leave you hanging. It uh, fills in all the gaps except you know whatever system you're playing you can easily insert stat blocks for your monsters and traps pretty seamlessly and I, th it would, I thought it would be a great adventure since it's five levels to try this idea on there's a cave section to the right that I could not fit on in one tile it will have its se a separate smaller narrow tile and as for the rest of the first level, I had to make a few accommodations. Rooms 15 and 16 are a little bit smaller. And room 6, I had to move its location altogether closer over to room 3. But it does not change the narrative. Uh, all, all the same items will be available in the same way, and the story will unfold in the same way. Other than that, a, little, a few hallways are a little narrower some minor changes like that, but overall there's the same number of doors, the same traps, same problems, same monsters. Alright, so once you get it drawn on there, I'm going to cut out all the negative space, the rooms and the hallways, leaving just the walls. You want clean cuts, you might want to replace blades relatively often. For finer cuts, you might want to switch to a smaller X Acto or another small blade. Okay, so line it out there. Take a look at it. All right, then you want to take your third piece, peel this paper off. And lay your dungeon walls out. And I'm going to trace around so that I know where the floor will be. So that I can go through and texture and mark the floor without the walls in the way. So there's a couple places that need to be cut out still for a third layer down where the water is and where the stairs down will be. I'm just going to mark them for now and worry about cutting them out later. I scribbled in where all the walls will be so they're easier to notice. And just going to get started marking the floor with the exacto ballpoint pen watered up tinfoil method. There it started to take shape. All right, I had to change the shape of area five, this little sewer area, uh, but the gist is the same. And to get those grates, I'll just flip this piece over, cut a couple little slots, and put some toothpick in there. All right, I've cut out the other 
layer of space and I'm going to attach the whole thing to a hardboard. It's thin, cheap, I think it's about four bucks for a four by eight sheet. So you could get four pieces the size of the foam core uh, with plenty left over for other pieces. So not that big of an expense overall. Get it lined up on there and then, yep, I'm gonna clean up the areas a little bit where I didn't need glue. That was short sighted. And weight it down a little bit. Set it off to the side, and while it's drying, I'm gonna get started brickifying the walls in the DM Scotty 3.5 2D 3. Point, what the hell is it called? You know what I'm saying? Those walls. DM Scotty did it with the two with the two layers of foam core on cardboard. Same principle. So I got to make stairs going down there. That got to make the bridge rickety wooden thing across the collapse. There's a secret door here and in another area I've got plans for those but it's a secret. Water, water there. Some rocks and I gotta build the causeway thing that goes across. Here's room six where I had to move it to. It was supposed to be over here but it'll all work out. Alright, here it is with the rocks and water just hot glue, water, same as uh, DMG's tile. And there. I put a little in there for the goopy sewage and built the rickety plankway and that's it for now.